Alright guys, what's going on? It's Sharam here, and welcome back to another video I got for you guys today. Today we're going to be attempting to rebuild the Buccaneers. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get right into this one. Okay, so this is the Buccaneers team. It does not look that bad, especially with the updated rosters, because now they have Deshaun Jackson. But I'm fairly certain I am going to trade him, <laughs> which is, you know, super realistic. They just signed him. Uh, they just traded, or no, he was a free agent, right? Yeah, so they just signed him, and you know, I'm gonna trade him pretty much immediately. But uh, they have a pretty rough offensive line, but I can probably uh, rejuvenate it a little bit. I have some ideas with what I want to do. And uh, the defense isn't bad. They actually have a really solid defense. I uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to do with all this stuff, but I'll figure something out. And I'll come back to you guys when, whenever I decide what I want to do. Alright, uh, McDonald, whose first name, I'm sorry, I really just don't know. Keith Tandy and Deshaun Jackson for Jadevian Clowney and a fifth rounder from the Texans. Doug Martin, Robert Ayers Jr. and Luke Stocker for Jack Muhort and Ryan Kelly. See, I know I just traded with the Colts, but I'm going to scumbag them and give them this 73-rated left guard for a fourth and a fifth rounder. All right, Chris Baker and DeMar Dotson for the Browns' first-round draft pick. All right, one more trade with the Colts. We're trading them Joe Hawley and J.R. Sweezy for a first-rounder. All right, William Golston and Chris Conti from the first, fifth, and sixth rounders from the Jets. Okay, we are giving the Eagles a third-rounder and a future fifth for Jordan Matthews. All right, Jack Smith for a fourth-rounder from the Rams. And I'm going to do one more similar trade to that with somebody else, and then I think I'm done with trading. Alright, Kevin Pamphile for a fourth rounder from the Ravens. And then I think we are done with trades, unless I see anybody last minute that I really want to get rid of. But anyway, this is the team. I think it looks pretty good for a first season team. The offensive line looks decent, at least uh, with a bit of development, this offensive line can be pretty good. Um, Charles Sims is going to be the starting running back for us. He doesn't look too bad. He's an 84 overall, so it's not the worst. Jameis Winston, obviously, is the quarterback. Mike Evans, stud wide receiver. Jordan Matthews, another solid wide receiver. And then we have a good tight end in Cameron Brait. The defense, I did a little bit different. Um, I signed Gerald Hodges, and I also signed Christian Jones just to play uh, linebackers for us. And I signed Tremaine Brock and Zach Kerr. So those are the guys I signed in the in free agency. I could have signed better players than all of them, I'm pretty sure, but I didn't want to. Um, I think... Gerald Hodges is like the second best free agent middle linebacker, and this guy isn't the best uh, left outside linebacker, as with Zach Kerr and Tremaine Brock with their respective positions. So, I didn't want to go overkill in free agency, because there are some decent free agents in here, but I just felt like letting it go as it is. Um, but I like what the team is. I'm going to keep Brent Grimes for, the f for this first season, because he's an 89. I mean, I get he's 33, but I can trade him next season. I'm not really worried about that. And hopefully Jadavion Clowney and uh, Noah Spence can go off. That would be nice, uh, but yeah, other than that, I'm probably just going to sim to the midseason mark now. Alright, so at the midseason mark here, we are 5-2, and two, and we are taking on the 6-2 and two Falcons. So I hope uh, we can beat the Falcons here, that would be really nice, but Jameis Winston has 9,000 experience, which is actually awesome, and he's confident. So that's always good to see, so maybe he can do really well this season or something, but we have to bring back Cameron Brait, and uh, I will most likely bring him back, and I think that's it. Um, I'll, I'll negotiate Adam Humphreys later if he played really well this season or something. Then I'll negotiate him, but at least here I'm going to bring back Cameron Braid. Because he's a solid target. He also went to Harvard, but I'd like to take in a better salary than what you are offering. Alright, he declined my offer. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, no one else here we're going to bring in. So, uh, I'm fine with that. Um... Yeah, this is the team. I, I don't know. I just blanked there for a second. I'm sorry about that. But this is the team. I don't think I'm going to upgrade anybody right now. Um, I didn't really look at the defense too much. Uh, How's Vernon Hargraves doing? 4,000, nearly 5,000 experience. Isn't that bad? Noah Spence, 3,000. Not awful. The division looks pretty good, actually. This is a tough division. I feel like almost anyone can come out on top right now. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to sim to the end of the season now. Actually, I'm going to sim to next week. Not right now, actually. I gotta scout these players. I'm just all out of it right now. <laughs> I'm actually just going to sim to the uh, to the end of the season, and then I will, uh, you know, catch you guys back up there. All right, we're at the end of the season, and we made the playoffs. I'm actually kind of surprised by this, but we have to take on the Seahawks, who look really challenging. But we went nine and seven, and the Falcons went thirteen and three. But the Panthers also went nine and seven. Tough division, very tough division there. I think the Saints went seven and nine too. But anyway, we won one game in the preseason. We beat the Browns. That's nice. We started off the season with a five-game winning streak, which is nice. Um, then we lost three games in a row. We did lose to the Falcons that week. I think this was the midseason game. I'm pretty sure it was. And we lost to them by three. That's rough. Uh, did we lose to them again? I didn't even notice the other one. 
Am I blind? Oh, the first week. Wow, we beat them. Nice. Right, we actually beat them the first week. I didn't notice that was the first game. Uh, but yeah, we beat the Saints 56-53. to That was close, and we barely lost to the Panthers at the end of the season. The division um, would have been a, a little less close if we would have beaten the Panthers there. But anyway, let's check out the stats. Jameis Winston, 4,400 yards, 33 touchdowns, 16 picks. Not bad. I would like um, less interceptions, though. Like, one interception a game, I would rather not have that. But a uh, good amount of touchdowns, good amount of yards, so I can deal with it. Charles Sims, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns. Six fumbles is quite a bit, but I'm going to try to boost up his carrying if I can. Jaquiz Rogers had eight touchdowns, and Jameis Winston had two. Not bad. But Charles Sims, 14 touchdowns, 1,100 yards is definitely good enough to start next year again. And look at this, Mike Evans, 1,400 yards, 7 touchdowns. That's solid. Adam Humphreys did do well out of the slot, but he didn't do well enough where I think I'm going to sign him back. I think I'm just going to try to draft a wide receiver or trade for another one or something. But Jordan Matthews also did fairly well with the yards and everything. And Cameron Brait did eh, all right. And Charles Sims had 6 receiving touchdowns. Wow. How many, he had 20 touchdowns in total. That's pretty good. Um, blocking, let's check this out. 37 sacks. Led up by Donovan Smith. That is way too many. I think we have to upgrade left tackle. Ryan Kelly didn't do horribly. He only let up 14. I mean, that's a good amount, but tackles usually let up like over 10. Like a solid tackle, we usually let up like like 8 to like 15. Is like a solid tackles range, so he's fine. Um, the rest of our line did very well. Defense, Gerald Hodges, 137 tackles. I see how many interceptions Levante David got. Good lord. He, he has to be defensive player of the year. If that's not, then that's just, that's a steal. But anyway, 115 tackles from him as well, which is solid. Tackles for loss, 17 from Gerald McCoy, and 12 from Zach Kerr. Sacks, we got 8.5 from Jadavion Clowney, 8 from Gerald McCoy, 4.5 from Zach Kerr, and 4 from Noah Spence. Interceptions, look at this, 7 from Levante David, 5 from Brent Grimes is still respectable, and 3 from JJ uh, Wilcox and Quan Alexander, and then 1 from Vernon Hargraves and Tremaine Brock. Touchdowns, did we get any touchdowns? Out of all seven of Levante David's interceptions, he did not get one touchdown, but that's okay. We were 8th on offense. What about defense? We were 25th. We have to get the defense to be a bit better. Jameis Winston gets number 7 in MVP, which is nice. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, he gets 6th. That's not bad. Charles Sims does not make it, but that's okay. Defensive Player of the Year does not go to, to Levante David. That is a joke. <laughs> Deion Jones gets it instead. I mean, maybe he had a crazy season, but I feel like Levante David with seven interceptions deserved it, but it's okay. I don't even know if we had any offensive rookies. Uh, defensive rookies, we had a few. Uh, we had Vernon Hargraves, he gets in there at number seven, and that's it. We did have Noah Spence, but that's okay. But yeah, we did pretty well this season. I'm, I'm down for a 9-7 and seven season, making the playoffs. That's not bad. Uh, so yeah, this is what the experience looks like all the way around, and not bad. Jameis Winston has 15k, and he's confident, so that's always a good sign. Defense, Levante David only has 6k from his ridiculous from his ridiculous season. How much does Vernon Hargraves have? 8,000. That's not bad either. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade the team as much as I can, and then I'll see you guys in this game. Okay, I upgraded the experience I wanted to upgrade on this team, and it doesn't look bad at all. Mike Evans is a 97 with confidence. The offensive line all went up about like two overall points, which is good enough for me. The defense hadn't really upgraded much. The only thing I upgraded was uh, Vernon Hargraves' stats. And he's a 78 now with quick, so he can definitely stay on the team. He's probably going to stay the nickel guy for us. But other than that, this is the team, and we are going to get into the game against the Seahawks. And hopefully we can uh, take down the Seahawks. Let's check out the overalls, though. Let's see where we're going here. We're at 82, and they're an 89. I don't think we deserve to win this game by any means. They have seven overall points above us. But we're going to throw on the color rush uniforms. Like I always do in these, and uh, we're going to get into this game. But first, I'm going to try to think of a word for you guys to comment, because I don't think I was ever able to do this in the first season. I couldn't be mistaken, though. I really don't remember if um, I made the playoffs with the Titans first season or not. But anyway, if you guys are still watching currently, um, comment. I don't know what to comment right now. Ooh, um, 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 football. There we go. Very generic word, football. There's a football near me. So there we go, and we're also playing a football game, so yeah, I'm a genius. And they're about to score probably another touchdown. 17-13, we need another touchdown. 24-13, we might actually get a win. This is amazing. 24-16, are they going to get the two-point conversion? They don't get it, and we win by two. Wow, we actually took down the Seahawks. 
That was very surprising. I did not expect to do that at all. But Jameis Winston playing pretty well. I mean, he did have one inter interception, didn't have many yards, but three passing touchdowns will make up for both of those in my book. So uh, there you go. He definitely outplayed, outplayed Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson threw the ball a whole bunch more, but it's all right. Charles Sims and Eddie Lacy both had like the same kind of game. Both played pretty well. Anyone have a rushing touchdown? Thomas Rawls did. So there's interesting. Mike Evans had uh, had a receiving touchdown, as did Doug Baldwin and Cameron Brates and Austin Johnson, who was our fullback. Not bad. Um, let's check out uh, defense. Levante David had 11 tackles and an interception. He is a god. Uh, 10 tackles from Tremaine Brock isn't bad. Uh, tackles for a loss. Atiba. I think that's how you pronounce his No, nope. Atiba. Maybe Atiba Ruben. I never knew how to pronounce his name. Gerald McCoy and Jadavion Clowney all at least had one, but Ruben had two. And sacks, one and a half from Cliff Averill, one from Noah Spence, Jadavion Clowney, Levante David, KJ Wright, and Michael Bennett shared Cliff Averill's sack. And Levante David and Bobby Wagner each had an interception. So there we go. Solid game. We took down the Seahawks. Okay, so we're taking on the 12-4 and four Vikings right now. Let's see what their overall is all about. Probably pretty decent. I don't think it'll be as high as the Seahawks, though. Yeah, see, now they're an 81 and we're an 83. So we have an overall advantage over them, but that didn't seem to really matter that much last game since we are at the disadvantage against the Seahawks, but we still managed to beat them. But anyway, of course, throwing on the Color Rush uniforms again, and we are going to get right into this game. 37 to 3, 44 to 3. Holy crap, we are destroying the Vikings right now. This isn't even fair. 44 to 6. That was ridiculous. We just destroyed, decimated their team. Jameis Winston. Four touchdowns, zero interceptions, another very, very solid game. Sam Bradford had four interceptions. He had a 9.6 quarterback rating. Roberto Aguayo had a better quarterback rating than him, and he, and he didn't even complete a pass. That's interesting. Charles Sims, 148 yards, one touchdown, definitely a solid game. Latavius Murray did pretty poorly for them, to be honest, but Jameis Winston ran the ball pretty nicely per carry. Uh, Mike Evans did well, Cameron Brait did well, Stephon Diggs didn't do badly for them. Defense, Eric Hendricks had 13 tackles, that's not bad. Terrence Newman had 9, Linval Joseph had 9, and Brian Robeson had 8. Tackles for loss, Linval Joseph had 2, Gerald Hodges had 1, Gerald McCoy had 1, and Sharif Floyd had 1. Sacks, Noah Spence had 2, Brian Robeson had 1, Zach Kerr had 1, and so did Sharif Floyd. And interceptions, Brent Grimes had 2, Brent Grimes had 2, my bad. JJ Wilcox had 1, and Gerald Hodges had 1. Not a bad game whatsoever. All right, we're in the conference championship against a divisional rival. Playing against the Falcons, they probably have like a 90 overall team or something stupid like that. Actually, they're only an 85. So technically, thus far, the best team we've faced in the playoffs have been the Seahawks, and we did beat them. But I don't think that really means anything, to be honest. So we're taking on the Falcons, of course. And these color rush uniforms are very close to each other. So I'm going to change mine to the away ones, and then they can have their color rush uniforms, because they are the home team, did have a much better record. Uh, so yeah, they deserve the color rush uniforms. But anyway, hopefully we can take down our divisional rival. 17-7 um, still. 17-14, we brought it back a little bit. 17-17. 17-24. Can we hold them? Can we hold them? I have no idea. They Wow, that was really clutched by them. 27-24, 27-27. It's overtime now, and they win the game in overtime. That was a very clutch drive for them at one point in that game. I think Matt Ryan just went off to like Julio Jones most likely, but still Jameis Winston played well. He outplayed Matt Ryan, had one more touchdown and had three more yards, so that's not bad. Charles Sims ran the ball well, but Devontae Freeman had 192 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Charles Sims also fumbled, so he didn't run the ball too well. Receiving, uh, Adam Humphreys did well. He had two touchdowns. Taylor Gabriel had two touchdowns from them. Mike Evans had one. Julio Jones had seven catches, 87 yards. And let's check out defense. Gerald Hodges had 11 tackles. Deion Jones had 10. Uh, Grady Jarrett had three tackles for a loss. Jadavion Clowney, Dontari Poe, Vic Beasley, and Gerald McCoy all had one. Sacks, Dontari Poe had two. Courtney Upshaw had one and a half. Adrian Claiborne had one. And Ricardo Allen shared that, uh, that half a sack with Courtney Upshaw. Interceptions, Quan Alexander had one, and Ricardo Allen had the other. Well, had, had one for the Falcons. But anyway, that was a very, very close game. I'm, I'm happy with how this season played out. We made the playoffs. We went pretty deep into the playoffs, too. So, uh, you know, that was fine. I mean, the Falcons have a great team, and it's hard to beat them. Okay, we're at the end of the season now, and I forgot that we have to bring back Cameron Brait. So I might as well try to do that right now. Hopefully he comes back to the team. Uh, let's see if I can just bring this down a little bit. Bring that up. I'm going to just give him a bit more of a signing bonus. Does he come back to the team? No, he does not. So that's annoying. Uh, maybe I can get him in free agency then, but I think I'm also going to try to bring back Tremaine Brock. Nope. 
Gerald Hodges, not Tremaine Brock. <laughs> I want to try to bring back Gerald Hodges just because he didn't play badly, and he is coming back to the team. That's not bad. Everyone else can go in free agency. I don't mind, but, uh, you know, if I don't play Tremaine... Nope, not Tremaine Brock. I keep saying that. If I don't play Gerald Hodges next season, um, I could always just trade him. Like, I might draft a middle linebacker and play that middle linebacker above him, or trade him, or play him at outside linebacker. Not too sure yet, but anyway... Uh, let's sign some free agents. Let's see what kind of deals uh, Cameron Brait are getting. Cameron Brait is getting. That was horrible grammar. Um, let's see. Cameron Brait is getting 85 points. That's a bit more than I would like to spend on him, so I might try to draft the tight end and see how that goes. Uh, I don't think there's anyone here that I really want. I might sign some people to try to trade. That's usually what I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go try to do that, and then I'll see you guys in the draft. Okay, so we are in the draft. So, uh, we don't have the first pick. I know that much. Um, I really want this one defensive tackle, and I feel like there's actually a decent chance. that the t I also want a cornerback. I don't know if I trust the Titans to not take him, to be honest. So hold on a second. Let me just see who's on the draft board. How far down are the guys that I really want? Because I don't know if they'll take an outside linebacker. I really want this guy. And where's this defensive tackle? Is he, if he's really low, I'm not going to worry about him that much then. Where is he? Did I miss him? I feel like I just missed the defensive tackle I want. Because he looks really good. Or maybe I didn't. Did I not? I didn't watch him. Wait, hold on. Where is he? I'm really confused. There he is. Oh, he's a second rounder. What? Oh, he changed to a second rounder. I didn't know that. Okay, that happened somehow. I'm taking this dude in the mid first round easily. Uh, so yeah, that guy looks like a beast, but I do want this cornerback that I, I don't know if I can bank on the Titans not taking him. So I'm going to trade up with the Titans really quickly. Okay, so I'm trading the Titans my 8th round, nope, my 8th pick in the first round, this backup wide receiver and this backup left end for their pick right now. And with this pick, I'm taking Anthony McClendon, I think his name is. He looks like an absolute beast, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to take him. Where is he? There he is, Anthony McClendon. Doesn't have the best 40-yard dash time, but he is going to have superstar development. He's an 81 the superstar. This guy looks like a stud, so I'm down with this pick. Alright, with this pick, uh, I don't really have anybody right now, so I'm just going to trade this one away and uh, see what people are offering. So that, that doesn't look bad. That's a second, third, and fourth this year. That's a first next year. Not bad. That's a first this year. First next year, second next year. I'm actually just going to take this first one with the Bears because that's all draft picks for this year, so I might as well. Okay, with this pick, I'm going to take that defensive tackle that I really want. I'm sorry if it's like really late that I'm, I mean, really early that I'm taking him, but he was an early first prospect. I don't know what happened, but he just looks like a beast, so I'm just going to take him now. He's a 76 with normal. Apparently that was a good pick, so that's fine. I think I'm going to start him at my second defensive tackle. He was supposed to go like early first round, so I just thought he would be better than that, but that's all right. All right, with this pick, I'm going to take Judah Jeffcoat because we don't have a tight end. I don't want to see what this guy is all about. He's a 76 with quick. That was a solid pick. He's definitely going to start on the team. I'm fine with that pick there. Okay, with this pick, I'm taking Noah Tyler. I know he's a late second rounder, but his stats look awesome. He has a great combine. He looks like a beast, and he's a 77 with quick. He's probably going to come in and be the middle linebacker for this team, so I'm perfectly fine with that pick. All right, with this pick, I'm just going to trade it down because I don't have anybody right here that I want, uh, so I don't mind this. I think I'm going to trade it down all for next year's stuff if I can because I don't really want any more draft picks this year. I have way too many, so I'm trading this one down with the Browns because they're both next year. I have like five fourth round draft picks, and I don't really want to take any of them to be honest, but with this pick, I am going to be taking a cornerback. Uh, so let me just get to him really fast. This guy doesn't look too bad. Isaiah Means. Uh, he's a late third rounder. This is early third round. I don't really mind. What is he all about? He's a 68. I reached. He's not very good. Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to start taking some of these people I have scouted now. Uh, even though most of them go in like the 5th and the 7th and stuff, I don't really care. I'm just going to take them here because look how many other draft picks I have. I just don't want to trade all of these down. Uh, so I'm just going to take this guy now. He's a 68. Alright, I'm probably going to end up reaching on all of these guys. But I don't really mind. <laughs> we have more 4th rounders. That's a lot of fun. So if any of these guys are really good, I'll keep them in. But if none of them are good, I'm just going to let it go. And I'll see you guys at the, at the, uh, with the first trade then, I guess, if none of these guys are that good. Never mind, that guy was good. Alright, so Gerald Hodges, Donovan Smith, and a third rounder for AJ Bouye. And the only reason why I got Bouye over Jalen Ramsey is because I think I would have had to get rid of a first rounder for Jalen Ramsey if I would have done that same thing. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. I don't think, I mean, he's great, obviously. Superstar development, he's phenomenal, but I think Bouye is good enough. 
Alright, Daryl Morris and a second rounder for Leonard Williams, who I think I am going to throw out to left end. And then this team is very close to being done for this season. Alright, Noah Spence and a backup right guard for Corey Lindsley. Okay, so this is the team going into the second season. Does not look bad. It's not like ridiculously upgraded from the last team. But I definitely like where we are. I like the defense. I like everything here. The defensive line looking like if uh, if it develops well, it looks like it's going to be very solid. The secondary is very good on this team. The linebackers are probably the worst, uh, the worst part. But this middle linebacker looks like a beast. And this guy is definitely not bad either. So I don't really mind where we're at right now. I can always try to get a better another uh, a better left outside linebacker next season if this guy doesn't play well. But yeah, this is the team, and I will see you guys at the midseason mark. All right, at the midseason mark, we are four and three. Not too bad, but uh, doing worse than we were last season. But that's okay. Uh, this is what the offense looks like. This guy looks pretty decent. You know, this uh, this tight end we drafted. He's nearly has five thousand experience. That's not bad. And uh, the defense, this is what it looks like. 5,000 from our uh, middle linebacker is not bad. Now there is like about 6,000 for our cornerback. Looks like the team's playing fairly well. Uh, but yeah, we have Mike Evans to re-sign at least. And I know we're going to have to bring back Jadavion Clowney. And Jack Muhort and Corey Lindsley. And Charles Sims and Jordan Matthews. And James Stone. I don't know if I'm going to bring back James Stone. Because I feel like I could just get a better center pretty easily. So uh, I'm going to go after Mike Evans, of course. Hopefully bring him back. If he doesn't come back, then I'm franchise tagging him. Uh, he's coming back to the team. Hopefully Jadevian Clowney can return as well. He's a pretty big asset to this team. Uh, he's coming back. Jack Muhort once again. Somehow has normal development. Uh, he had quick when this started. I don't know what happened. But he lost his development trade somehow. Uh, Corey Lindsley. He still has quick, so that's nice. Hopefully he comes back to the team. And he is... Charles Sims is another guy I would like to bring back because he did play well the first season. So I'd like to have him back on the team. He's coming back. Jordan Matthews, once more, is another person that I want back. Please come back to the team. He is coming back. And James Stone, I'm going to let go. Uh, because I feel like I can get a better center other than him. So uh, yeah, this is what the team looks like. Definitely not bad. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can make to the playoffs. I'll show you guys a division too. We are in second, so we definitely have a shot for the playoffs. That's fine. I don't think we're going to be able to beat out the Falcons for the for the number one spot. Um, but anyway, I'm going to spend my coach experience, and then I will go to the playoffs. Okay, so we are at the end of the season, and we made the playoffs. We went 11-5. and five. Solid season again. Uh, last season, we went 9-7, and seven, I think. So we upgraded. That's fine. Obviously, it's fine. We lost the first two games. We kind of got destroyed by the Patriots. And we beat the Saints and the Packers and the Panthers. And we beat the Falcons. That's nice. Who did we lose to? The Bears? We lost to the Bears by one. And the Lions. That's the person. That's the team we're taking on right now. Sorry if I sound out of breath. I just ran up the steps and I'm out of shape. Um, but we don't have a nice win streak at the end of the season, though. That was clutch right there. That was actually very clutch. Because if we didn't do that, I don't think we would have made the playoffs. But anyway, let's see what the stats are looking like. How did Jameis Winston do? 4,600 yards, 30, 32 touchdowns, 16 picks is still a lot. If he can get those those interceptions down, we'd be in a much better shape, but that's okay. 4,700 yards pretty much, and 32 touchdowns is definitely good. I'm okay with that. Uh, Charles Sims again, 1,100 yards. This time he almost had 1,200 yards, and he had 14 rushing touchdowns once again. He's developing pretty nicely. He's a definitely a good running back, so I'm, I'm fine with that. And this time he only fumbled one time, so that's nice. Jameis Winston was our second leading rusher, and then Keith Marshall was third. Um, Jordan Matthews almost had 100 catches and almost had 1,000 yards. That was a good season. Only had two touchdowns, but, you know, good amount of catches, good amount of yards. That's fine. Mike Evans, again, gets over 1,400 yards, and he gets eight touchdowns. That's nice. Lenny Winters, who was actually a player that our team randomly signed in the draft. I didn't draft this guy. At least I do not remember drafting this guy. I think um, I simmed ahead a couple times, and I think they just drafted him. So that's fine. He had nine touchdowns, 922 yards, pretty good. And Judah Jeffcoat had four touchdowns. Didn't play that well, but that's all right. And then Charles Sims again had six receiving touchdowns. So once again, he had 20 touchdowns. Blocking should be pretty decent. Well, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, much better than what, uh, who do we have? Donovan. Wow. I completely forgot his name. Donovan. I, wow, that's bad on me. But um, he had like 37 sacks let up or 32 or something like that last year. But uh, Corey Lindsley and Ryan Kelly. Didn't do bad. It's, it's really bothering me that I forgot his name. 
It's something Donovan, or it's Donovan something. That Wow, I just completely blanked. But Jack Mehart let up two, and then Ali Marpit in our center did not let up any. Defense. Uh, Noah Tyler did pretty well. 149 tackles, one interception. I hope that's enough for, um, for our offensive or defensive rookie of the year. I feel like in the draft I pronounced his name wrong. I really hope I didn't. Uh, but Levante David had four picks, which was great. I see AJ Bouye had seven down there. That's nice. Tackles for loss. How many did we get? We got 20 from Leonard Williams. He played very well. And 11 from Gerald McCoy. Sacks. We got 12 from Jadavion Clowney. 11 and a half from Gerald McCoy. Seven from Stephen or Stefan Cleveland. And five and a half from Leonard Williams. Interception. Seven from AJ Bouye. Four from Levante David. Three from JJ Wilcox. Two from Vernon Hargraves. And one from Noah Tyler, Quan Alexander, Anthony McClendon. Houston Cantaloupe and Isaiah Means. I didn't even know he was playing. Um, let's see if we had any touchdowns. We did not get any touchdowns, but that is all right. We were eighth on offense, which is pretty good. Hopefully, the, hopefully the defense was better. We were 29th, actually. It was not better. I think we were 25th last season. Anyway, MVP. <clears throat> Jameis Winston comes in sixth. That's not bad. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. He comes in sixth as well. Um, Charles Sims did not make it, but that's all right. Defensive player of the year, Noah Tyler gets fourth, so that's solid. There's no rookies above him, so maybe he uh, maybe he got a uh, defensive rookie of the year. That'd be really nice. Levante David is sixth in that list. Offensive rookie of the year, our uh, wide receiver comes in third, which isn't bad. Our tight end gets in there at number eight. That's good, too. Defensive rookie of the year does go to Noah Tyler. Stefan Cleveland comes in third. Anthony McClendon comes in fourth. Houston Cantaloupe comes in 7th, and Nash Walford comes in ninth. I don't think I drafted that guy, but I could be mistaken. Let's see what the experience looks like. Not bad by any means. This guy did not get much experience at all, considering he came in 3rd on the uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year standings. But this guy has 9,000, which is nice. Uh, offensive line looks like it has a decent amount. Jameis Winston has 11k, which is not bad either. Defense, this guy only has 27,000. I was expecting a bit more. He did get quick development, though, so that's nice. And I don't know how he got that. I, I swear I didn't give it to him. But I think he might have gotten it from winning something. I don't think he had quick before this. I'm pretty sure he had normal. Um, our defensive tackle didn't get that many. This guy got 11,000, which is not bad. Vernon Hargraves, 6,000. I mean, I don't know why I checked him in particular, but it happened. Anyway, uh, we're going to upgrade these guys, and then I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, this is one final look at the team before we get into the game. Definitely does not look bad. The team looks pretty solid. I like where we are. This is the defense. This guy's an 86. I didn't get any development trade up, but I did get him to 97 tackling, which is really solid. Uh, this guy went up to an 85, which is also very good. Uh, I'm trying to think if anyone else jumped up really highly. Doesn't really look like it. Jameis Winston is an 87 with confidence, so that's always nice. But anyway, we are going to take on the Lions, and hopefully we can take them down. I think we should have a higher overall than they should. Maybe we're like a 90? We're an 84! My bad. I completely overestimated this team. I thought we were better than this, but it's okay. It's fine. We're still a higher overall than them, but I thought we would have been higher than this. Um, anyway, throw on the color rush uniforms. I like the Lions a lot. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into the game now, and hopefully we can beat the Lions. 33-17, uh, 33-25, 40-25. We cannot stop their offense. Yeah, I think they won. 43-25, 46-25. Yeah, they easily won. Wow. That was atrocious. We could not stop their offense that entire game. Matthew Stafford had five touchdowns. He had 364 yards and five touchdowns. Jameis Winston played terribly. Charles Sims didn't do that badly. Theo Riddick uh, did pretty poorly for them, to be honest. Uh, Danny Amendola had three touchdowns and 183 yards. He did very well. So did Golden Tate and Marvin Jones. Charles Sims led our team in catches and yards, most likely. Let's see. Yeah, he did. Uh, defense... Noah Tyler had 12 tackles, Josh Bynes had 11, Tavon Wilson had 11, and so did Levante David. Tackles for loss, one from Gerald McCoy and Leonard Williams, and then Akeem Spence had a, had two sacks. St uh, Stephon Cleveland had one and a half, Dominic Easley had one, and Levante David had a half. Glover Quinn, um, Tavon, Tavon Wilson Sr., I don't know what I said, I think I said Tavon last time, and Darius Slay each had one. So yeah, very poor game there, we just got decimated by the Lions. Okay, we are in free agency now. We have 33.83 mil, so we can bring in some studs. Jason Witten is the best one here, so there are no studs in this offseason, which is rough, but it's okay. We can try to trade for some good people next season or something. So I'll probably sign some of these random guys here, like um, Dante Moncrief. I'll try to sign him just to get someone to trade. 
How much is that? 53 points. If he comes over for that, then I'll trade him. And I'll probably do that with a few other people. And then I'll see you guys in the draft. All right, so we are in the draft right now. Um, I really want this cornerback. Uh, this guy, I'll show you guys in a second. But I am trading down with the, uh, or trading up with the 49ers. I know that for sure. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm giving the 49ers my 23rd pick in the first round. This backup left tackle and Isaiah Means, I remembered his name. He's a cornerback, but that's okay. I can afford to get rid of him because this guy looks phenomenal. One of the highest combines I've ever seen. He's right here. Craig Lloyd running a 4-3-4 and he is 6 foot 4. I need to see what this guy's all about. 93 speed, but he is 6 foot 4. 93 speed. That's phenomenal. Superstar development. This guy was a steal. Actually, I guess not since I had the first pick. That was a weird thing to say. With this pick, I am going to take Ty Pendleton. He's a third round prospect. This is a second round pick, but he is I knew he was going to be pretty good just by his stats and his combine. So that was a nice pick there too. All right, Vernon Hargraves, this cantaloupe guy, and a third rounder for Odell Beckham Jr. All right, this Winters guy, who was the wide receiver the computer drafted for me last year, and a second rounder for Christian Kirksey, who is coming in to play left outside linebacker for us. All right, this Pendleton guy we drafted this year and a sixth rounder for Cody Whitehair. Okay, this Bazween guy, who is a center we drafted like last year or something, and these two backup ends for Zach Brown. I just have him for backup uh, for backup purposes. I just wanted to make it look like my middle linebacker looked better than it was. So now it's a B. Without him, it looked like a C, and this literally just makes it look better. That's the only reason why I did that. I don't think he's going to really play. I know he has slow development, but I just wanted the overall. I'm like, not going to lie. That's all I wanted. But uh, this is the team. This team looks awesome. I like the wide receivers a lot. Uh, Odo Beckham Jr. is a 99. I like this tight end a lot. I think he's pretty solid. And this defense looks awesome, too. The defensive line looks great. Let me just make sure I have all the backups in and everything. And, uh, yeah, this is this is the team. It looks really good. I'm going to sign a backup tight end just so uh, my fullback doesn't have to play backup tight end. And then I will uh, let you guys know uh, how we're doing at the end of the season. Okay, the season is about to be over. I really hope we made the playoffs and did fairly well. We did make the playoffs. We went 9-7 and seven and one player regressed. All right, Brian Anger. Really, you're a punter, and oh, that's rough. Okay. Anyway, we went 9-7. and seven. Not bad. We'll take on the Lions again, though. And the Lions did very well against us last time, but we almost won the division. We came in second. The Falcons fell off a little bit, from what it seems. Uh, let's check out the team schedules to show you guys we didn't cheat. We beat the Lions in the preseason, though, so that's always a good sign. <laughs> we went 3-1 and one in the preseason. I lost the opening game to the Falcons. We got destroyed by them. Then we went on a nice five-game win streak right there. Then we lost to the Panthers and the Steelers, won two more games, lost a game, won a game, lost three, and beat the Falcons to conclude this season. Not bad. Went 9-7. and seven. I think this is the only time we've ever made the playoffs all three seasons. But uh, Jameis Winston, not a bad season, 4,400 yards, 22 touchdowns isn't that many, but at least he's cutting down on the interceptions, so I can't be too mad. I wish he had like 10 more touchdowns, and then it would have been a lot better, but it's okay. Uh, rushing, Charles Sims again, just really consistent. 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns, that's kind of what he's been doing. I also shined, signed uh, Jarek McKinnon, if you guys, I don't think I showed that, so if you guys didn't notice, we signed Jarek McKinnon. And he had 11 touchdowns out of the backup, which isn't bad. Charles Sims fumbled two times, which isn't that bad, actually, for an entire season. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, Jordan Matthews had 1,100 yards in the slot, that's pretty good. Odell Beckham, Odell Beckham Jr., I stuttered a lot when I said that, uh, had 884 yards, and Mike Evans had 1,100 um, how did the tight end do? Not horrible, but actually he did pretty bad. Not gonna lie, only had two touchdowns, 35.2 a game isn't very good. Blocking should be pretty solid, and it is pretty good. 29 sacks led up between both the tackles, and then three led up from uh, the rest of the line. Actually, no, the center didn't let up one, Cody Whitehair, but this left tackle did. Uh, defense, Levante David, 124 tackles, leads the team, and Noah Tyler had 119, and he uh, is second on the team. Tackles for loss, we got 13 from Stefan Cleveland and 12 from Gerald McCoy. Sacks, 15 from Jadavian Clowney, 11 and a half from Leonard Williams, 6 and a half from Stefan Cleveland, and 4 and a half from Gerald McCoy. Interceptions, we got 5 from AJ Bouye, 2 from Levante David and Craig Lloyd, and then 1 from JJ Wilcox, Anthony McClendon, and Quan Alexander. Let's check out if we had any touchdowns. We have at least one. We actually got two. AJ Bouye and JJ Wilcox each had a touchdown. Not bad. We were 11th on offense. Maybe finally our defense did better than like top 20. They were second. They did a lot better. 
Uh, MVP, I don't expect to see Jameis Winston uh, in this. Let's see. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, maybe. No, he didn't make it. Um, Defensive Player of the Year, maybe. Uh, Levante David gets in there once again. He's been in there all three years. I'm pretty sure. Who won it? Nate Irvin? Irving? That's not bad. Offensive Rookie of the Year, don't think we have anybody. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Craig Lloyd comes in third. That's not bad. Uh, best Quarterback, Jameis Winston, is not in this. Wow. But Hudson Allslot is... All stat, my bad. Best running back, Charles Sims is fifth. That's not bad. Best wide receiver, Jordan Matthews didn't get in that, but Nelson Aguilar did? That is a lie. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Cedric Teal wins it. I don't even know who that is, but he had a crazy season. Uh, Jack Muhort, Ali Marpit both get in the best uh, offensive lineman. Jadavion Clowney wins best defensive lineman, so that's nice. At least we got one award. Best linebacker. Uh, Levante David is 7th, that's not bad. Best defensive back, AJ Bouye gets 3rd. And best kicker, did we get anything for the best kicker? We did not. So not a bad season. We were 9-7, and seven. let's check out the experience. Maybe it's not that bad. 8,000 for Jameis Winston. I wish he had a bit more, but he didn't really win any awards, so I didn't really expect him to have much more. Uh, the defense, anyone have a good amount? Jadavion Clowney has 13k, that's not bad. Levante David only has 8, even though he got in a few, uh, a few award contentions. But anyway, I'm going to spend all this experience, and I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, this is what the team looks like going into uh, this wildcard game against the Lions. Hopefully we can beat the Lions this time, and it doesn't end up like it did last year. But the team looks really good. I think this is actually one of the worst teams we've had so far. I'm not sure about the overall, what that's going to say. But I feel like I've had, I usually have more A's than this. M maybe not, though. This team is pretty good. So maybe not. Maybe I'm just, I'm just a lion. Um, but yeah, once again, this is what the team looks like. That's just the defense. I'll show you guys the offense one last time, and then we are going to go into the game. Hopefully we can win. I want to beat the Lions. No idea what the uh, what the overall is looking like. Maybe now we're a 90. We're a 92. Okay, maybe this isn't one of the worst teams. Uh, this team's not th definitely not bad. Uh, against the 84 Detroit Lions. Hopefully we can beat them this time. 17-14. We need a turnover. We don't get one. 24-21. We need another turnover. We don't get it. And that was our chance to... Actually, we still can win. 28 to 27. Wow, we actually won. I did not expect to win that. I thought it was over. I don't know who just went off there, but someone just made some huge plays. But uh, Matt Stafford, three touchdowns, 222 yards. He played well. Jameis Winston, 244 yards, two touchdowns. He definitely played well, too. He did have an interception, but uh, it's all right. Uh, Theo Riddick ran the ball for 130 yards. Not bad. Charles Sims at 85 and a touchdown. Uh, Eric Ebron did well uh, receiving for them. Marvin Jones did well. Actually, not really. He had seven catches, but only 32 yards. He did have a touchdown, but uh, yeah, not many yards. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. did well for us. Golden Tate did okay for them. Who else had a touchdown? Mike Evans did, and that is it. Yes, that's it. Judah Jeffcoat only had one tackle, or not one tackle, one uh, one catch. But Noah Tyler had 13 tackles. They were all solo, I guess, because he had 13 solo and 13 total. And uh, Levante David had 10 tackles for loss. Leonard Williams had one, and Stephon Cleveland had one. Sacks, Ezekiel Ansah, Dominic Easley, and Stefan Cleveland. Interceptions, Nevin Lawson had it. So that was a good game. We ended up beating the Lions. I did not expect to win that game. I thought we, you know, I thought we were going to lose. All right, we are taking on the Seahawks right now, and they're 12-4. This isn't looking good, but we did beat them earlier, I'm pretty sure. I think the first season we beat them. But they're a 90. We're a 92. We're still better, but still, I don't know. You never know with the Seahawks. They always have a ridiculous team. I think this game might actually be over. I don't want to say things too quickly, but you never know. 37-20, looking good. It's looking good. 37-27, and we win the game by that score, 37-27. to We are successful against the Seahawks in the uh, in the offseason. I mean, in the, in the postseason, it seems. Russell Wilson had a lot of yards, had three touchdowns, not bad, but he did throw two interceptions, which is rough. Jameis Winston played rather perfectly for us. A uh, 75 completion percentage is really good. 233 yards isn't bad, and two touchdowns is, you know, solid. Uh, Charles Sims, 185 yards, two touchdowns. That was a great game from him. Eddie Lacy didn't do all that well. He did have a touchdown, but only 86 yards. Uh, Mike Evans, Doug Baldwin, they both did very well. Doug, Doug Baldwin did really, really well. Um, yeah, that was very really childish. It's, I don't know, what am I saying anymore? <laughs> Jordan Matthews did well for us. Jimmy Graham did all right. Judah Jeffcoat got a touchdown, and Kenny Lawler got a touchdown, and so did Danny Vitale, or v Vital, however you pronounce that, and so did Jermaine Curse. Defense, J.J. Wilcox had 10, tu or 10 touchdowns. Nope, that's not even close to being true. Earl Thomas had 11 tackles, Noah Tyler had 10 tackles, and there we go, J.J. Wilcox had 10 tackles. 
Tackles for loss, Michael Bennett had two, and there's a whole bunch of people with one, including Frank Clark, Jerron Reed, Gerald McCoy, Leonard Williams, and Stefan Cleveland. Sacks, Cam Chancellor got one. Interceptions, A.J. Bouye had two. Solid. It would be nice for A.J. Bouye to pick off, uh, you know, Russell Wilson twice. It's kind of hard to do. All right, so we are taking on the Packers right now. And this should be a rough game to try to win. I have no idea if we're going to be able to do it or not, but we are a 92. They are an 85. We did take down the 90-rated Seahawks last game, so I hope we can take down the Packers, but you never really know. 48-17. to This game is completely out of reach, I think, even for Aaron Rodgers. But 48-20, to we scored so many times in very, very quick succession. I don't know what happened, but Jameis Winston had a crazy game again. 254 yards, 4 touchdowns, very good. And very, very unrealistically, Aaron Rodgers throws 4 interceptions. That is ridiculous. Charles Sims didn't run the ball all too well. He did nearly get over 100 yards and did have a touchdown, so that's not bad. Jeremy Hill is on the Packers now. He had 85 yards and a touchdown, which isn't bad either, but neither running back did, like, ridiculously well. Uh, receivers, Odo Beckham Jr. did well. He led the game in catches and yards, maybe? He did. Uh, Jordy Nelson came in second in yards, and uh, Jordan Matthews came in third, and he also had two touchdowns. That's not bad. And this guy, Forrest Gay, didn't do bad badly for them. Uh, let's check out tackles. Blake Martinez had 15 tackles. Jake Ryan had 10. Nick Perry had 9, and so did Noah Tyler. Tackles for loss. Kenny Clark had 2, and Leonard Williams had 1. Sacks, Nick Perry, and Jake Ryan shared 1. And interceptions, Anthony McClendon had 1. AJ Bouye, Noah Tyler, and Quan Alexander all also had 1. Any touchdowns from these? Can I check that in here? Uh, there was no touchdowns. I feel like there might have been, because we scored a whole bunch in the red zone. And I don't know what happened, but we also scored very, very uh, rapidly at times. We would get a touchdown and get like 10 more points like immediately afterwards, so I don't know what happened that game. Uh, but yeah, we won. Now we're going to the Super Bowl. All right, we are taking on the Colts right now in the Super Bowl. Um, I don't know if I can see the Colts making a Super Bowl in the next few years, but who knows? I can see the Buccaneers doing it. The Colts are a 79, and they made the Super Bowl this year. Okay, but yeah, I can definitely see the Buccaneers making the Super Bowl or like going far in the playoffs in the next couple of years. I feel like they're just a few uh, a few players away from having like a complete team. They do have a solid team, but anyway, we are taking on the Colts like I've said like three times already, and let's get right into the game. We need to get some points. How are we not doing well on the Colts defense? There we go. 10-7. We scored something. 13-7. If we get another touchdown, it's we're winning by one, but we can't right now. 16-10. If we can get a touchdown here. 16-17. They get a touchdown at the end of the game, and they win it. 22-17. We really lost to the Colts in the Super Bowl. They were a 79. Oh, Lord. Neither quarterback played too well. I think um, I would have taken Andrew Luck in this game for sure because he had two touchdowns. Uh, and uh, Jameis Winston didn't have any. Jameis Winston did have more yards by like 82 or something, but I still, I don't know, I would still take Andrew Luck. Uh, Doug Martin is their running back. I forgot we traded Doug Martin to the Colts, but uh, Charles Sims did a bit better. I think he had two touchdowns on, on 98 yards. Isn't bad. Jordan Matthews did well. Mike Evans did well. T.Y. Hilton had a touchdown. Who had the other one? Uh, Jack Doyle had a touchdown. Defense, Anthony McClendon had 11 tackles. Uh... Jarrell Freeman had eight. Gary in Ingersoll, he's number 99, that's weird, had seven. Uh, Henry Anderson had seven, and Craig Lloyd also had seven. Tackles for loss, Jonathan Hankins had one. Henry Anderson had one. Robert Ayers Jr. had two sacks. I forgot we traded uh, Robert Ayers Jr. to the Colts, too. We, we, I know we made a bunch of trades with the Colts, but uh, Stephon, Stephon Cleveland had one and a half sacks. Barkevious Mingo had one. Leonard Williams had one. Jadavion Clowney had one. Levante David had one, and Gerald McCoy had one. Interceptions, AJ Bouye and Vontae Davis each had an interception. But that is going to conclude the Buccaneers rebuild. Um, this is one of the more successful ones we've had, because uh, we've made the playoffs every every year in this one, which is actually pretty good. And with the first year and this year, we went really far into the playoffs. Uh, well, last year we didn't at all. We lost in the first game. But we still made it. That's still good enough. But yeah, um, I definitely like this rebuild. I thought we have an interesting team. Have some, have some good players, some people I normally don't get. Like, uh, Jameis Winston, for example, I never usually get him. Or Charles Sims, I've had once, I think. Or, um, Jordan Matthews, I don't think I've ever had, aside from when I rebuilt the Eagles. Uh, most of these offensive linemen I, I get pretty frequently because they're all very solid. But, like, Gerald McCoy, I usually don't get. Or, uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, AJ Bouye, I get all the time. Or, like, JJ Wilcox, I don't think I've ever gotten. He just happened to be on this team. Um, but yeah, this was a very good team. I liked it a lot. And, uh, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, likes and all that good stuff are always appreciated. I usually don't like asking for that kind of stuff, but it just kind of 
slipped, honestly. I didn't even mean to. I just kind of started saying the sentence, and then I just kept going with it because why, why am I talking anymore? Whatever. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.